Hello, I hope you're very well. At this time of the year, I always get very excited about the cherry blossom, especially the, as the blossom is in full bloom. Today, I'm going to show you how to capture these blossoms with paint on canvas before the winds sweep it all away. So this way, we can keep the beautiful blossom thing in our house all year round. So this is my first tutorial with paint on canvas and I like it to do very regularly and also I did the Chinese brush painting before in other videos. Subscribe my channel so you can go back and check all these videos, got sparrows, got eagles uh, because when I'm doing a lot of tutorials, I, I do a film to give the feedback to my students or homework. <laughs> and now we all stay at home, so we can enjoy a bit more homework. Um, and if you have any ideas you what you want me to paint, please leave your comments down below. I will get back to you and I will try my best to, to do so. Uh, painting on canvas is one of my favorite uh, media. I do a lot of oils and acrylic and also uh, watercolors as well, Chinese brush painting and the calligraphy. Especially at this stressful time when you stay at home, you can't really do anything else. And I just um, doing paintings and I do paintings with my children, do paintings when I'm alone. I talk to my painting. Uh, here we go. Let's start our first tutorial. I will use four, five colors. I normally use three, four colors uh, for most of my paintings. But today I'm going to use the middle color, burnt amber, and red, deep red, and also cardamom red and uh, I'm going to use some green and you need blue. I start with blue with a medium sized brush and I quite like rough brush uh, for the beginning and also um, very simple color, very original color and it just gets the first impression of a painting what comes to your mind first and then put some colors down as a background use some green blue and mix together just use the same brush and use some burnt amber to outline my bottom tree I like to use break lines middle of the day as well so the shadow is quite a little because the sun is right upon us so we've got tiny bits of shadow in the middle and then I'm gonna do the sky now I mixed a bit more blue and a tiny bit of grey because I just like to have the background a little bit further so I use a tiny bit of darker color first well I like it do it quick but you can take your time Every single color I have here, I like it to travel around the whole canvas because one canvas is just like one family. You just want it. A bit of your scent, your color everywhere to share. Then I use a little bit 
white to make the color spin more bright and more rich to go on the top. Now I do start doing the first layer of the blossom. So when you look at the blossom tree, it's oh, it's all pink. Uh, well, I like the idea in children's brain. It's just pink. It's just one color pink. It's beautiful, even just one pink. But um, I always look at it as oh you got a loads of different colors in that tree you got pink flowers but you've got like a dead leaves around and you got the branches covered this bit and that bit so you do have the, sh the shady bit of the pink so now I'm applying a layer of the shades of the flowers change the brush uh, for brighter color I like use the side of the brush so I can get a little bit more details
here we go. It's just start cheering up colors. Pink, I mix between just a little bit more red, more white, and then maybe a little bit yellow as well.
hope to see you again very soon. Um, so this is my first one, and I'm will have loads, loads more coming. So please like and subscribe for more. Stay safe. Thank you.